Hi everybody and thank you for joining me on this latest video. Today I'm going to be unboxing something that's come in the post and I am going to be unboxing it live although by the time you see it it probably won't be live. Uh, by the time you see this I will probably be driving my bus to Burton or something so hopefully it all comes out okay. I hope you're all well and dandy out there. Um, a couple of Beetle Dave's Twist and Shout Outs and going to be a couple today. Um, the first one is to my mate Toby Jackman who's got his own little YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't already checked him out please check him out. Uh, absolutely fantastic channel. He buys and sells basically. He'll buy job lots, he takes out what he wants and then he sells the rest of the things that he doesn't want or that he's got duplicates of on places like eBay. Uh, he has just got one out showing some a job lot, job lot of records that he's actually selling at the moment. Excuse me one sec. Something in my eye. Uh, that's better. I can see you all now. Uh, so this is your twist and shout out to Toby Jackman. There's your twist and your shout out. Toby Jackman. Check his channel out. Uh, the second one is to my missus Susie Sue. Uh, and this is just a shout out for me to you. Uh, for putting up with me basically. So here's your twist. And your shout out to Susie Sue. Love her to bits. And the third one is to uh, Mike, PC31, the Vinyl Policeman. Um, I'm sorry, mate. I've missed a few of your videos. I am trying to catch up with them. Uh, but he's a wonderful, wonderful person. Great, vast knowledge of record collecting. Uh, he plays in a Kinks tribute band. And one day, Mike, if you ever come near Derby, I will come and see your band. Honestly, I love the Kinks. Uh, so here's your twist. And you shout out to Mike PC31, the vinyl policeman. I know you've already been on, on it, mate, but that this is just a bit like an apology because I haven't been watching some of your videos, but I have been busy. Right, so now for the main feature. So if you're all sitting comfortably, Beetle Dave will begin. And Beetle Dave better put his glasses on because he's got to try and get in this great big parcel. Um, I think I know what it is, folks. I think I know what it is. Famous last words. So this has just arrived in the post um, and it has actually come quite quick. Today is Tuesday as I am recording this, although you probably won't see this till the weekend. It is actually Tuesday afternoon and I didn't actually order this till I think it was Saturday afternoon so it hasn't took very long to come. Um, just till night. This is going to be a right mess isn't it? This is going to be a right mess folks. If you hear me go out, I'll cut myself. <laughs> and knowing me, I probably will. That should come out now, shouldn't it? Let's have a look. Yes, this is, this is a boring bit, folks. So just talk amongst yourself for two, for two minutes. As I've said, I hope you're all well and dandy out there. And looking forward to Easter. I'm not. I've got to work it. I've got to work all over Easter. Right, so... I think I should have just took this out and done it as it is. Right. So it's got all these in them and I don't, I don't really want to get them all over the place. Oh, what I do for you lot. <laughs> Still managed to drop off them on the floor. Well, there's one thing I can say, folks, that was absolutely amazingly packed, and I do mean it, really, really well packaged. Um, now, what this is, if you didn't just see it, is a box set, a Beatles box set. Been out for years, to be honest. I think it's been out, I don't actually know when it came out. I think it was for one of the sort of like anniversaries. But it's not an LP box set, which is strange. We've got to do some more now. It's actually a box set for the Magical Mystery Tour. And it is. All in its shrink wrap and everything. And I was actually quite surprised for what I got this for. 
usually these go for £80 plus um, so it's a box set so you get a DVD and a Blu-ray you get a book and then you get a replica of the original UK double EP um, does it say when this came out do, 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 do. can't see it. it just says the Beatles magical mystery tour made in England by the Beatles featuring magical mystery tour fall on the hill flying I am the walrus blue J way and your mother should know uh, it's got special features uh, so it's a quite a nice sturdy box so that's the front side get the Apple logo that's the bottom and that's the top and then that is the other side so you get your psychedelic bit at the, at the top and the bottom uh, magical mystery tour 12 now how do you get into this how do you get into it folks Ah, is that it? Ah, right, so <laughs> it's like a magnet. That fooled me then. <laughs> so that opens up like that. It's not brand new, but the seller did say that they had only played this a handful of times. And judging at it, it does look like it hasn't been used very much. So we get a lovely book. Magical Mr. Tour book, which is basically going to be photos and stuff from the film, isn't it? I should imagine. You do get a lot of credits. You actually get things in this that weren't in the film. It's going to be a bit hard to show these because I don't want to back the book. What's the ones I just saw? Uh, there was a set, folks cast or the main cast of course Victor Spaghetti was in this one too who'd also been in The Hard Day's Night and Help probably do a video on this on its own of course that is the rough idea for the film <laughs> Just a pie chart. Two thousand and twelve, I think this came out. Looking at this, that's a famous one, isn't it? The Beatles sat on a hill somewhere, and apparently there's plastic casts or something of their bottoms, and you can actually sit in them. Are they wide ones, I don't know. Yeah, that's actually quite interesting. This book. more photos diary of the tour yeah that's that's, that's going to be worth looking at in more detail so that is the book Then we get, what do we get? Then we get the Magical Mystery Tour, which I think this is the Blu-ray and the DVD looking at it. But again, that is an entirely different cover, isn't it, to the UK EP. Yeah, so you get a Blu-ray a Blu of the film and a DVD of the film. I'm not sure if there's any extras on these or not or if it's just a straight copy of the film um i haven't got this on dvd or blu-ray the magical mystery tour i've got help and i've got a hard day's night and i've got the uh get back box set thing from the other year the peter jackson thing i did used to have this on vhs if you can remember them many many years ago uh, but the other the other week I did actually watch this on YouTube of all places and you got the whole movie and it was better than I remember it being to be honest um, whether that's because 
you know, with me being a bit older now, it does seem to make more sense, although it never really did make any sense, did it? Um, I've, I've always had a soft spot for this film, to be honest. Wasn't really a script to it as such, was they? Um, it was just supposed to be what we used to call in the UK a charabang, where people who all work together or something would go out on a day trip in the summer. And in those days, you could take crates of beer and everything with you and get you. Basically, you was you was drunk before you even got to where you, <laughs> where you wanted to go because there was that much beer on the bus. Um, you could also go on mystery tours. Um, in the seventies, we went on one on a train of all things. I can't remember where we ended up going to, but yeah. So a mystery tour was a real thing in one way. So that's nice. Nice presentation. Now, what else have we got? I think this, oh, how's that been stuck in the back? Yeah, I've got the Magical Mystery Tour ticket, though so that's just ripped for some reason. So I think it's stuck. I think that's actually, that, I think that was actually stuck at the bottom, which is a bit of a shame, isn't it? So you get the ticket. For a bit so this is the box when you open it up so like i say it's fooled me for a bit didn't it folks and then that is the inside with the ticket in the bottom um i am very impressed with this to be honest just looking at it um like i say i haven't played the dvd or the blu-ray or the discs i think the vinyl i think they are vinyl um I'm sure the vinyl. Another vinyl. Yeah, vinyl. So this is the reproduction, and I will say it's a reproduction of the Magical Mystery Tour double EP, which was released in England in nineteen December nineteen sixty seven. I think you got it in France and in Germany as well, but then a lot of countries from around the world you got the Magical Mystery, Mystery Tour as an LP, didn't you? in the UK we didn't not until 1976 so this is mono not stereo it's mono which is the it, to be honest is the, is the nicest way I think of listening to this now that looks like it is a proper push out thing but I don't think it is because if that was real you could see my hand behind it and you can't that's like a photocopy isn't it um, so on side one you get a uh, magical mystery tour and your mother should know. That was anything with this EP. The songs didn't necessarily appear in the order that they did in the film. Where on the LP they virtually did, didn't they? Um, side two you've got I Am The Walrus. Could, could, could you? That doesn't look like it's ever been played, does it? To be honest, folks, that doesn't look like it's ever been played. So that's nice. Sleeves, them inner sleeves are a bit tight, though. So since we've looked at that one, we might as well look at the next one, haven't we? So this is sides three and four of the EP. So on side three, you get fall on the hill and flying I always think flying's quite underrated and on and then on side four you get George Harrison's Blue Jay Way sitting here in Blue Jay Way please don't be long please don't you be very long and the UK when this came out you didn't get it from there you got it like from the top um, apart from that everything looks very faithful you get the little booklet in it and you should get the lyrics in this shouldn't you somewhere mixture of cartoons and 
stills from the film, isn't it? Because wasn't that the cover for the Australian Magical Mystery Tour LP? The only downside with this, isn't it? You get the lyrics and this right in the middle of the book, so they actually cover probably the best photo, which is the Beatles performing "I'm the Walrus." But because that's there, you can't really see it, can you? Blue lyric sheet. Love and the Beatles. Sure, don't have to show you all these, do I? That's where they're watching the, st the stripper, isn't it? And the band that played on stage with the stripper was the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band. Neil Innes, who later went on to form, or was in the film, The Vuttles, which was a parody of The Beatles. And if you haven't watched that film, that's worth checking out. John there. You have to look really hard, don't you, to actually realise that is John. George. And then, your mother should know. Your mother should know. Ooh, your mother should know. Yeah, so I think that is very, very good. I think that's a decent reproduction. Very decent reproduction. And it's nice to have it in mono. Um, I did a video last year on my Beatles UK EP blue box set now the thing that's funny with that is right you could get this in mono even when it was released you could get it as a mono um, disc right and all of the EPs in the Beatles box set was mono but what do they do they put in a stereo magical mystery tour which I was thought was a bit strange to be honest and that don't want to go in there, does it? <laughs> oh, the beauty of doing things live, folks. <laughs> so, yeah, so that is nice. Like I say, these usually go for around the £75, £85 mark. Sometimes more, sometimes a little bit less. Now, this, you know, the, the owner or the person that sold this did say it wasn't new, but it had only been played a couple of times. So that's the DVD and this Blu-ray and that is the Magical Mystery Tour Mono EP. So at least you do get a record with this, <laughs> which that, that was the thing about the Sergeant Pepper box set, wasn't it? You didn't get an LP with it, or that was an LP size box. Um, just got to be careful, just got to try and put this in there. So <laughs> Still fiddly to get that in and out. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that really i'm quite happy with that and then like i say you get this lovely booklet with it as well now i think apple if you're watching because i'm i'm sure you watch all my videos apple and the beetle camp and universal music why don't you do this as the next official beetles box set or think about doing it as the next Beatles box set. So you could do something like this. You could even use the same book, same sort of design for the box. I mean, you'd have to make it a little bit bigger. Then you could put in a Blu-ray with it. You don't necessarily need a DVD and a Blu-ray, do you? I'd, I'd say put the Blu-ray in it. Put the mono EP in it. All right with a nice little book and then you could put a stereo version of the magical mystery tour lp and then do an, an extra lp excuse me of outtakes or other songs that were recorded around this time now i think that'd make quite a good box set which could which could then sit very neatly between the sergeant pepper box set and the white album box set because at the minute that wouldn't go it wouldn't fit or if if i did it'd look a bit strange wouldn't it um yeah 2012 this came out um 
I don't know. I, I, I was going to say, I don't know why I didn't get this at the time. I know why I did, because it was very, very expensive. And in all fairness, it's still expensive now. Like, I, like, like I've just said to you, usually these go between 75 and 85 pound. Even more if you look on certain selling sites. I paid, I think it was 45 pound for that. Um, now, is that good or is that bad? Um, I think that's actually quite good value. You get the D if you try and buy the DVD on its own, it's going to cost you probably the best part of twenty pound or the Blu-ray. The EP, okay, it is a reproduction, but it is in mono, which is nice. And then you've got the book, and then you've got this fantastic box as well. So I think that isn't that was a good price to pay for that. <laughs> um, would I pay seventy-five or eighty pound for it? If I got if I'd got the money and I hadn't got it, then yes, I probably would as a completist. Would I pay over hundred pound for it though? Probably not. Probably not. In all honesty, as good as it is, um, I think I think when this came out though, I think they did a good job because when this was came out in two thousand and twelve, vinyl or records. Was classed as like a dead format, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, do I wish I'd got it at the time? Probably not because I would have paid more for it at the time than what I have now. Uh, some things are worth waiting for, folks. You don't have to go out and get things when they're released. It's nice if you can, excuse me, afford to do it, but you know, the way things are in this country at the minute, you know, you could. Not everybody can afford to go and spend three or four hundred pounds on a box set, can they? You know. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Um, I will probably do a little follow-up video at some point after I've listened to the records and played either the Blu-ray or the DVD, just to tell you what the quality is on it. But yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I think I got a bargain, to be honest, what I paid for. I do actually think I've got a bargain there, folks. I really do. Um, so that's going to be it. Thank you to everybody that is watching this video. Uh, I, I said to say I'm going to try and make it about 20, 25 minutes. So uh, we're doing okay at the minute. Uh, thank you to everybody that is subscribing, leaving me likes and commenting. If you've just come across this channel and you like it, leave me a like. If you'd like to subscribe... Press the button down there, it is free, doesn't cost you a penny, all it costs you is, is the second to press the button and that's it. Uh, we have got over 500 videos on this channel now, so I'm sure even if you don't like this one, there will be something there of interest. 99% of the time it is about the Beatles, but we do occasionally do things on other artists or finds and things like that, you know, record finds or vinyl finds that I've found when I've been out and about. Um, and that's going to be it. Once again, thank you to everybody that is subscribing. You are doing me and the channel really, really proud at the minute. And the success of this channel at the minute is all down to you lot out there who subscribe, leave me likes and leave me comments. So, like I say, if you like it, leave me a like. If you don't like it, send me a comment and tell me why you don't like it. You know, it's to try and, you know, these comments and stuff are to try and engage uh, people out there with the channel and vice versa um, but I'm, I'm, I hope you've liked this video it's just Beatle Dave being Beatle Dave uh, really enjoyed that I really was looking forward to doing an unboxing of this one although most of you out there probably have already got this uh, it is actually quite scarce to come by now most of these are actually from America as well I think from what I can make out although the, the seller did say this this was a UK version that you could play on UK machines and things like you know your DVD and your Blu-ray which we'll find out in a bit when I play it um, so remember you are the beat of Beatle Dave without you this channel wouldn't be here and you making an old man very happy by keep supporting the channel and watching the videos and liking commenting and subscribing so until the next time it's Beatle Dave wishing you all peace love and happiness and I will see you very very soon but like I say, when you see this video, I will probably be at work driving my bus, but hopefully not going on a magical mystery tour.
So until next time, I'm out of here. Bye.